Heredity explains why offspring resemble but are not identical to their parents and is a unifying biological principle. Good day teachers and good day to the other active grade 10 learners. I am Kim Rian Alcantara from Santo Domingo National Trade School and this is Marvelous Discourse. I will be here for you at this moment to extend your knowledge as you learn our today's lesson. Make sure that you are properly listening to our discussion entitled Heredity, Inheritance, and Variation. This discussion will take you to the journey of explaining how mutation may cause changes in structure and function of a protein. Before moving on to the discussion, let us first recall the structure and function of RNA and DNA. We learned that nucleic acid are large biomolecules essential to all known forms of life. They are composed of nucleotides which are the monomers made of three components, a 5-carbon sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. The two major types of nucleic acids are deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA and ribonucleic acid or RNA. Now, let us begin to the discussion on explaining on how mutation may cause changes in structure and function of a protein. Mutation is a change in the base sequence of DNA, the substitution of the sequence of amino acid in the resulting protein may also be altered. Mutation is commonly error in the replication process. Mutations can occur in two different types of cells, reproductive cells and somatic cells. Mutations affect the reproductive cells of an organism by changing the sequence of nucleotides within a gene in a sperm or egg cell. There are two types of mutations that can occur in gamete cells. The first one is gene mutation. It is a permanent change in the DNA sequence that makes up a gene. The other one is chromosomal mutation. It occurs at the chromosome level resulting in gene deletion, duplication, or rearrangement that may occur during the cell cycle and meiosis. The picture appears changes within the grouping of bases in normal hemoglobin and the one affected by mutation. A recessive gene causes sickle cell anemia, where most of the red blood cells stiffen and become sickle-shaped in affected people. Before the mutation happens, the structure of protein and its function is still the same as a normal protein enzyme. But when mutation happens or takes place, the structure will surely cause some changes and surely it is. It will also cause to change its function, either to help or to break its living home. Now that you have learned how mutation may cause changes, in a structure and function of a protein, it would be worth finding out how more profound understanding of atomic hereditary may influence your life. What do you think are the significant contribution of this knowledge in human society? Once again, I am Kim Rian Alcantara from Santo Domingo National Trade School and this is Marvelous Discourse. Thank you listeners. Have a good day.